So our next video on MySQL is going to be something that is uh, partly unique to MySQL. Not every language, not every version of SQL has this command. Uh, the command that we're going to look at is replace. Replace is kind of a combination of insert and update. So if you want to follow along with what I'm doing, uh, I have a SQL file saved on uh, GitHub as a gist. You can download this and then import the table. This will create the table inside of your database and it will add in a whole bunch of names. Okay, so the structure for the table is that we've got a primary key column. That's what this indicates right here. And you can see down here the under indices that the primary one is the email column. So we have a primary key that's not a number. It is still going to be a unique value. Every value in this column has to be unique. That's the way primary keys work. Now there's a first name, a last name, a common name, and the email address. The email address we're going to use is our key. And this is important for what we're doing here. The replace command, it's got one syntax. You provide the columns, you provide the values, and you tell it to do a replace. What MySQL does is it searches the primary keys to see if the primary key already exists. If it does already exist, then it's going to replace it. So if I did a replace using aria at stark.org as the value for the email column, it would look at this and say, okay, that already exists. We're going to do an update. So we'll be able to update these values. Now, if it didn't exist, it would do an insert. So it saves you from having to do a query to say, does this thing exist? And this is something that's fairly common to do in your server side code. You do, you do a select statement, say, okay, does this already exist in the database? Do a select, count the number of rows that came back. If there was no rows, okay, it doesn't exist yet. We'll do an insert. If it does exist, we'll do an update. Well, the replace kind of addresses both those things. So let's take a look at the syntax. This is what it looks like. It's almost identical to an insert, except that you use the word replace instead of the word insert. So replace into the name of the table. Then you list off the columns. Make sure that you have your primary key in here. It doesn't have to be first, but it does have to be one of the columns. The order of these columns matters because that's the order that the values have to be in. I'm going to say john at snow.org. That was the email address. And we're going to change this to, let's say, King John the first of his, or just, yeah, King John the first. We'll say that. We'll say go. Okay, great. It worked. We'll go back to browse. And there we are. So that showed up as the common name. Now, let's do another one here. Uh, and we'll do Brandon. So we'll do Brandon at Stark.org, Brandon Stark, and then the common name we'll put as Bran. We'll just start with the same one. And we'll say Brandon at Stark.org. Brandon Stark. And then for the common name at the very end, we'll put Bran. There we go. All right. Browse again. And there it is. So it's showing up. Great. Now, let's do one that doesn't exist yet. Now, I apologize if I haven't included one of your favorite characters from the show, but uh, I'm going to add Sir Davis Seaworth. So we'll come over here just to do an example of one that doesn't exist yet. So, Davos at Seaworth. Org. And we'll call him the Onion Knight as his common name. Okay, so email is this. So it's going to check to see if this exists. It doesn't, so it's going to create it. It's going to insert that record. There we go. One row affected. Browse. And there we have it. So Davos has been added. And that's the replace command. That's really all there is to it. Uh, it's, like I said, it's an amalgamation of 
the insert and the update command. The syntax is just like the insert command. Just make sure that you do include the primary key value. You do have to know what the primary key is if you want it to be able to do the updates. If you don't include it, it's going to be an insert. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. Um, I will leave a copy of that SQL link in the description for you. If you're uh, looking for more information about any of these commands that I'm talking about, uh, I'll also include this link in the description. This is the reference manual online for MySQL, the version 5.7, which is the version that I'm using right here. And uh, I'll come in and I'll, I'll look at some of these a little bit later in more detail. But if you go into the uh, chapter 13 SQL statement select syntax, you'll be able to find all these commands that I've been doing. All right. Thanks for watching.